Jake Plummer's comments about you from a radio interview that he did in Phoenix yesterday? No, I have not heard. Okay, let us put those off for just a moment, and I'll read them. Obviously, Jake Plummer played for the Broncos before Tim Tebow, and he said to a radio station in Phoenix, we have the, we have it up? There we are. I think Tim's a winner, and I respect that about him. I think that when he accepts the fact that we know he loves Jesus Christ, then I think I'll like him a little better. I don't hate him because of that. I just would rather not have to hear that every single time he takes a good snap or makes a good handoff. Let's just say, Tim, that for the sake of argument, let's say you were sitting in a room with just Jake Plummer. What would you tell him about these comments that he made? Well, uh, first I'd say, you know, thank you for the compliment of showing me a winner. And then I'd also say, um, you know, if you, um, if you're married and you have a wife and you really love your wife, is it good enough to only say to your wife, I love her the day you get married? Or should you tell her every single day when you wake up and every opportunity? And that's how I feel about my relationship with Jesus Christ is that is the most important thing in my life. So anytime I get an opportunity uh, to tell him that I love him or give him an opportunity to, to shout him out on national TV, I'm going to take that opportunity. And um, and so I look at it as a, as a relationship that I have with him, that I want to give him the honor and glory anytime I have the opportunity. Um, and then right after I give him the honor and glory, I always try to give my teammates the honor and glory. And that's how it works because Christ comes first in my life. Um, and then my family, and then my teammates, and um, and so you know I uh, I, re I I respect um, you know Jake's opinion, and I really appreciate his compliment of calling me a winner. Um, but I feel like he's not like the best opportunity, um, you know, to give the Lord some praise. He is due for it because what he did for me and what he did on the cross for all of us, and so. Um, you know, I really appreciate his opinion, and, and I respect him, um, but I, I still um, will give you know, all the honor and glory um, to, to the Lord because he deserves it. That's very well said. So do you believe that the power and strength that you gain from your relationship with God gives you an edge on the football field? Well, I think it's more than just what, what you know, what it can do for me on the football field, I think it just makes me who I am as a person. And I think it does help me on the football field because it gives me a peace um, beyond all understanding. And it gives me a sense of comfort that I know that no matter what happens on the football field, win or lose, um, that God is in control and he has a plan for my life. And I think the greatest thing that it does is it gives me perspective that I know that um, no matter what happens on, on the football field, that's not what, what defines my life. That, that's not what defines, you know, Tim Tebow as a person. Um, but what it does give me is it gives me a platform and an opportunity um, to try to be a great role model for this next generation, to try to make a difference, to try to be, um, you know, the man that, that fans can look to their sons and say, there's someone that's trying to, trying to do it the right way. There's someone that's trying to stand up for character, strength, and honor. And there's someone that's trying to do what's right do his best and treat others the way he wants to be treated. And and that's and that's what I want to be, is I want to be a great role model. I want to be someone like Daniel Warfel was to me, and I want to be someone that makes a difference, because at the end of the day, if all we're doing is winning or losing football games and scoring touchdowns, then we really haven't done a lot with our life. But if we're in the business of trying to encourage people, bring faith, hope, and love to those needing a brighter day and a darkest hour of need, which my mission statement on my foundation uh, reads, then we're really doing something successful with our life. So I want to take the platform that football has given me and try to get back and try to make a difference and try to make this world a better place. I appreciate that. Now, a lot of